Hi, my name is Artem Vieman. I'm one of the neurosurgeons uh, on Long Island. My specialization is in treatment of spinal disorders, and I would like to speak today about new treatment options available for degenerative scoliosis with stenosis in the lumbar spine. This is a condition that has previously been underdiagnosed in most of the patients from age 50 and above because we didn't know what we were looking for. We have been thinking that simple disc herniation or arthritis in the spine uh, should not be treated with surgery initially. We're now coming to conclusions that these conditions respond to surgery very well and it is one of my favorite surgeries to do. Patients with this problem complains of back pain and leg pain and if you have that while you're standing, sitting or walking, if it prevents you from enjoying life and prevents you from doing things that you like to do, then you need to see a specialist and possibly diagnose this problem. The pain down the legs can be quite disabling for almost uh, anybody, but severe pain every day, 10 out of 10 on the pain scale, can really make your life miserable. We diagnose this condition by performing simple tests such as MRI and X-ray, and then devise a surgical plan. Most patients think that having epidural injections can cure this problem. Unfortunately, this is a structural issue with the spine and cannot be cured with injections. It may be only controlled with them, and a lot of times injections don't work at all. Newer techniques are now available to treat that, specifically minimally invasive spine surgery. We can approach spine from a side, from the back, avoid making big incisions, and correct the deformity and decompress the nerve roots uh, with the minimal disruption of your life. The hospital stay could be as little as three days after surgery, and then you go home and participate in physical therapy to improve your life. Most of the techniques require removal of the discs and placement of screws and rods in the spine since we're dealing primarily with the curve, either forward or to the side in the spine, which will not correct by itself. The pain after surgery is usually not severe, and uh, six weeks to three months after surgery, most patients take very little pain medication. They return back to enjoying their lives. They return back to spending time with their families and with their children and grandchildren. They go back to work. They go back to playing sports. If you think that you have degenerative scoliosis, the test is very simple. It's an x-ray. If you have pain down the legs, if you have severe pain in the back, and you've had epidural injections without improvement, you should definitely see a specialist.